Kitab at Tawheed, at Tawheed, the Oneness of Allah, Chapter 1. And I, Allah, created not the jinns and men except they should worship me, alone. 5156. And he stated, And verily, we have sent among every Ummah, community, nation, a messenger, proclaiming, Worship Allah, alone, and avoid, or keep away from, Tarut, all false deities etc. i.e. do not worship Tarut besides Allah. 1636. And he said, And your Lord has decreed that you worship none but Him. And that you be dutiful to your parents. If one of them or both of them attain old age in your life, say not to them a word of disrespect, nor shout at them but address them in terms of honor. And lower unto them the wing of submission and humility through mercy, and say, My Lord. Bestow on them your mercy as they did bring me up when I was small. And he said, Worship Allah and join none with him in worship. And he said. 1723, 24. 436. Say, O Muhammad may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, come, I will recite what your Lord has prohibited you from, join not anything in worship with him, be good and dutiful to your parents, kill not your children because of poverty we provide sustenance for you and for them, come not near to shameful sins, illegal sexual intercourse, etc., whether committed openly or secretly, and kill not anyone whom Allah has forbidden, except for a just cause, according to Islamic law, this he has commanded you that you may understand. And come not near to the orphan's property, except to improve it, until he, or she, attains the age of full strength, and give full measure and full weight with justice. We burden not any person, but that which he can bear. And whenever you give your word, i.e. judge between men or give evidence, etc., say the truth even if a near relative is concerned, and fulfill the covenant of Allah. This He commands you, that you may remember. And verily, this is my straight path, so follow it, and follow not, other, paths, for they will separate you away from His path. This He has ordained for you that you may become al mudakun the pious. Ibn Masud, may Allah be pleased with him, said. Whoever wishes to ascertain the very will of Prophet Muhammad, may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, on which the Prophet has put his seal, let him read the statement of Allah. Say, O Muhammad, may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, come, I will recite what your Lord has prohibited you from, join not anything in worship with him. Up to, and verily, this is my straight path. It is narrated that Muad bin Jabal, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I was riding behind the Prophet, may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, on a donkey and he said to me O Muad, do you know what is the right of Allah on his slaves and what is the right of the slaves upon Allah? I responded, Allah and his messenger know best. He continued, the right of Allah upon his slaves is to worship him alone and never to associate anything with him. The right of slaves upon him is not to punish any person who does not associate anything with him. I said, O Allah's messenger, may I not give the glad tidings to the people? He replied, No. Do not inform them lest they rely on, this promise and lapse in their service to him one. The above hadith is mentioned in two Sahih books, Al-Buhari and Muslim.